Wave 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Amber Kulik with 31 Triple Doppler. Definitely praying for those folks out in Alaska. I mean, like mm -hmm. they said, this is a really hard time for them to get hit. I mean, these people spend months preparing for the winter time. Mm -hmm. so. They really do, yeah. So my heart definitely goes out to those people for sure. Absolutely. Well, we're expected to get our first round of rain in mm -hmm. weeks this weekend. We are, yeah. Rain on the way as we head into your Saturday night. Let's talk about that next weather maker because behind it, it's going to bring a nice taste of fall as we head into the start of next week. But before we get there, we got to go through the showers and the thunderstorms as we head into your Saturday night. Now it does look like it will come in later in the evening, so most of your Saturday looks to be good to go if you do have any plans. Here's your severe weather outlook for Saturday night and the greatest threat of seeing strong to severe thunderstorms will stay off to our west. But for you over in northwest Alabama, you are outlined in that green color. That is that marginal risk of seeing strong to severe thunderstorms as we head into the late evening hours of your Saturday. So something we'll keep an eye on here as we head into the next few days. Let's go ahead and time things out for you. Nothing to show as we head through the rest of the evening hours tonight. We stay clear. We stay quiet. We'll pick up some cloud cover as we head into the start of your Friday. Friday afternoon and evening, we'll see some more clouds, but we will stay dry. So if you're headed out to any of those football games tomorrow, well, otherwise looking really good. As we move into the overnight hours into your Saturday, we stay quiet. Cloud cover will start to move in by the first part of Saturday, Saturday afternoon, mostly sunny skies. And then here we go by eight, nine o'clock in the evening. Heavy rain moving into northwest Alabama by that time, pushing into the Huntsville Metro as we head into 9, 10 o'clock on your Saturday evening. And then eventually into Sand Mountain as we head into midnight 1 a.m. on your Sunday morning and another little wave moving through portions of the Huntsville Metro by then and eventually into Sand Mountain as we head into 2, 3 o'clock in the morning on your Sunday. I know this is going to be a late event, so make sure that you do have ways to get those watches and warnings if we see any heading into the overnight hours Saturday into Sunday, but the overall severe threat is low with this as it moves through. After it moves out, we are left with quiet conditions on Sunday, although temperatures will be quite cooler than what we've seen over the past couple of days. 31 triple Doppler right now is quiet and dry, and it will remain that way through the rest of the day today and throughout your Friday as well before we pick up those rain chances late in the day on Saturday. A wider view across the southeast and not a whole lot to talk about. Everyone got to see that sunshine today. And that's how it'll stay as we move into tomorrow. That three day forecast for you as we move towards the weekend. If you do enjoy the 80s, well, you need to take advantage of Friday and Saturday because as we head into Sunday, look at that 70 for your afternoon high Sunday, and it will be quite breezy behind that front as well. So it'll feel a little cooler than 70 degrees. Here's your forecast for Auburn. If you're headed down there to watch the game temperatures looking good in the 70s, as far as rain chances, they will stay low throughout the game, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. Temperature trend next week, though, behind that front, we are back into the 70s for afternoon highs, and we're talking lower 70s for a few days. Throughout the evening tonight, we'll drop through the 70s into the 60s if you do have any plans, and for the rest of the overnight hours, back into the 50s for overnight lows. 53 in Scottsboro, 53 in New Hope, 57 in Huntsville, 54 in Athens, 57 in Florence, and 56 in Russellville overnight tonight. Your 10 day forecast rain chances will be going up over the weekend, but then they drop off as we head into next week. And so do those temperatures waking up Monday morning. We'll be in the lower 40s across the Tennessee Valley. A stranger's